Well, hi, preschoolers. It's Teacher John here. Happy Tuesday today, Taco Tuesday. Did you enjoy your day um, day off yesterday, Monday? We had the day off yesterday, which was Monday. I hope you had enjoyed some time with your family and friends. Yeah, wonderful. Preschoolers behind me, I'm really excited because we're going to be practicing our days of the week for the rest of the school year. And behind me, I have our very fun calendar. And you'll start to notice as things start to kind of build on our calendar. But I wanted to start off just going through the days of the week that are on our calendar for our morning message today. Yeah, we've been talking about <clears throat> every day for our, our morning messages and read-alouds. We say the day of the week. We say the month as well. Yeah, and then we say the number, don't we? This time, we actually get to have a fun calendar and get to put it up on our on our board here. Like if we were at preschool. Yeah. All right, so come along with me. We're going to sing our Days of the Week song together. And I'm going to show us the days of the week as we go. You ready? Here we go. Picky up here. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Days of the week. 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 You ready? Let's start down here. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. All right, do it with me this time. All right, let's start over with Sunday. Say them out loud with Teacher John. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Great job, preschoolers. So yeah. I'm excited. We'll get working on our days of the week. You know, and we also can get your get your journals out as well. We can practice writing the days of the week. And also, friends, I have fun weather cards. So we'll talk about how the weather outside is as well on our calendar. So we have some fun things we can do with our calendar. Great. I have a very fun uh, uh, book. I do say that I have favorite books, but this is probably one of my favorite stories I'm excited to share with you. All about um, seasons and getting to spring and friendship, uh, being outside, playing, all these wonderful things to love, especially in a story. So let's jump into that. Here we go. All right, friends. I love this story. It has such beautiful pictures in it. They do such a wonderful job creating this, this story, friends. Just by looking at the cover, preschoolers, what do you think this story might be about? What do you see? Aha, uh -huh. there's a dog. Mm -hmm. And what's in the dog's head here? What's this? It's a frog. Yeah, maybe it's about a dog, frog. Oh, did we just hear words that rhyme? We did. Dog, frog, these two rhyme. They sound the same at the end. Yeah. Yes, friends, it is about a frog and a dog. Our title, which tells us the name of the story, is City Dog, Country Frog. And the book is written by a wonderful author, and his name is Mo Williams. <clears throat> and the gentleman that drew all the pictures in here, who's called the illustrator, is John J. Muth. Wonderful, friends. Let's take a look at three new vocab words from our story. Our first one is friend. <sighs> is the first sound in friend. A person whom you know well and you like. And who likes you, right? And we like to give friends hugs. Ah, yeah. Friend. <clears throat> our next one is games. G. G is the first sound in the word games. It's a kind of sport or play that has certain rules. Remember, we have rules at school too. Games have rules that we have to follow. Yeah. Hey, what's your favorite game? I love to play baseball. Maybe 
you could do a fun game action for when we hear the word basketball, baseball, maybe like to play uh, dice. Our next one is spring. S -s -s is the first sound in spring. It's the season of the year that is between winter and summer. Spring is in the middle. We are in the season of spring right now, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's check out our story. Listen for our words, friends. <clears throat> spring. City Dog didn't stop on that first day in the country. He ran as far and as fast as he could. And all without a leash. Right? He didn't have to have a leash on. <gasps> <clears throat> City Dog spotted something he had never seen sitting on a, on a rock. It was a country frog. What are you doing? asked City Dog. Waiting for a friend, replied Country Frog with a smile. But you'll do. Hmm. Look at that. No other friends. City Dog and Country Frog played together. City Dog was new to the country, so Country Frog taught him Country Frog games. Country Frog's games involved jumping and splashing and croaking. Ooh, he putting his nose in the water. That was spring. Hmm. Looks like they were having fun together. Summer. Summer comes after spring for scores. City Dog didn't stop to admire the green, green grass. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. I'm going to do you a favor, said City Dog when he found Country Frog. I am going to teach you City Dog games. Hmm, I wonder what they could be. City Dog's games involved sniffing and fetching and woo -woo -woo barking. City Dog and Country Frog played until Country Frog was too tired to sniff and fetch and bark anymore. <clears throat> that was summer. You look like the best of friends. Fall. I'm getting into fall. City Dog didn't stop to sniff the fall leaves. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. Look a beautiful picture. Walking through by the trees. <clears throat> what shall we play today? Asked City Dog. Dog or frog games? Country Frog took a deep breath. Oh, I'm too tired, replied Country Frog. Maybe we can play remembering games. City Dog and Country Frog sat together on the rock. They remembered their spring jumping and splashing and croaking. They remembered their summer sniffing and fetching and barking. Oh, let me see up in the sky. Yeah, look at that. There's a dog and a frog. That was fall. Winter. Ooh, look at the snow. City Dog didn't stop to eat the snow. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. <clears throat> City Dog looked for Country Frog. Where is he? Hmm. Country Frog was not there. Oh, his friend is not there. <clears throat> oh, beautiful picture. Lots of blues and purples and yellows. That was winter. Spring again. Back to spring. Country Chipmunk spotted something she had never seen sitting on a rock. It was City Dog. Chipmunk. What does he have in his hand? 
with a nut. What are you doing? asked Country Chipmunk. Waiting for a friend, replied City Dog sadly. Oh, he misses his friend. Hmm. Then he smiled, a froggy smile, and said, But you'll do. That was spring again. Wonderful. Beautiful colors, friends. What do you think the blue might represent? What season do you think the blue represents, friends? Maybe winter? Kind of looks like the snow, the colors of the snow. And what color here do you see? See lots of oranges and yellows? Yeah. What do you think these colors represent? What season would these colors represent, friends, do you think? Maybe fall, when the leaves change, get all orange. Some preschoolers even thought the summer, because it looks like the sun and the hot, hot heat sun that we get in the summertime. Yeah. The end. What a great story, isn't it? All about friendship, right? Sometimes it's great to have some friends to play with especially through all of the seasons, as City Dog and Country Frog did, yeah. And then at the end, our fun friend, the chipmunk, right? Yeah, wonderful. All right, let's take a look at our three words one more time. Here we go. Spring, say it with me. Spring, it's the season of the year between winter and summer. Games, games, it's a kind of sport or play that has certain rules and equipment, right? Yeah. They played city dog and country frog games in the story. Friend, friend, it's a person who you know well and you like and who likes you, right? A person you like, yep. We're all friends, aren't we? Yeah. All right, well done today, preschoolers. Keep up the great work and I will see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.